Hey everyone! So I wanted to do my, what is this, February favorites for you guys. I feel like you're really far away. Um, I had a lot of favorites this month um, because I had a lot going on with my skin. So um, there's new products, there's old products, but for the most part it's skincare, it's makeup, it's lotion and stuff. So I'll just get started. Um, let's see. Okay, so I busted this out. Um, I was looking for a newer blush, but I have a million blushes, don't we all? So I decided to go back to something that I've always really, really liked, but I put it away and I just rediscovered it and it's been fantastic all month long. It's the Cargo Beach Blush in Coral Beach. Looks like that. And it's discontinued. I don't, well, it's not discontinued. It's not at Sephora anymore. I got this. This was my second tub and I got this right when Sephora was doing like the clearance on it, but it looks like that and it is beautiful like I forgot how much I liked it and I didn't even put like a dent in it really it's iridescent and shimmery but it's got like a rose gold texture to it if you hear a band outside it's because there's a band outside um, they're pretty good actually so it's background music um, so that's what it looks like on the skin and I love it and like a little bit goes a long way but it's like I've been wearing it pretty much for the past like three weeks keep in mind I'm, I'm not doing anything major but um, I really really like it so got that I should have brought a towel or something um, the next thing I love this is amazing stuff and I first heard about this I think I've heard about it before because it's from the line Becca Becca makes really good makeup I saw them at Nordstrom and so I knew they existed but then I watch Pixie Woo and they love this stuff in, I want to say it's, I forgot what it is, but it's um, like a pearlescent color for them. I got this one in Topaz. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Looks like that. And basically it's like a base. It says it's a shimmering moisturizer with SPF 20. I wouldn't wear this just alone. You could though. This is the darkest shade I think they have, so it comes in this and this cap and it comes in like a pump and it is beautiful I put this on I've been mixing it with my foundation and that's how I've been rolling but you can just take it and like put it on your cheekbone or put on a moisturizer and mix that up with it and I'm sure it would give you like the pixie Wee girls or the sisters they take it and they put it all over their face for like a really beautiful glow and it truly does give you a great glow whoa way too much so this is what it looks like. It smells so good. And it's, it, I mean, it doesn't give off too much shimmer, but it just kind of gives you like a dewy look to your skin. Think like a strobe cream with color. It smells really good too. Yeah, so for me, this is perfect. And if you have like a foundation maybe that's even too light, if you were to mix this up with that foundation, I bet you it would help it like change color and get to your color. See what I'm saying? Like it just evens out and there's not tons of glitter. It's just really beautiful. And I'm wearing that today with this foundation. Let me put it. So I love it and it smells, like I said, amazing. Um, next. Okay, so this foundation I've been wearing only because I usually don't have to do full coverage foundation. But what's happened is in the past three, four weeks, so this whole month of February, my skin broke out like completely broke out like around my nose under my chin along my forehead like right in between here I can't figure out what it was that did it all I know is I got my eyebrows threaded I got my lip waxed mm. I mean I think I may have tried some samples of some things here and there but not I, I mean maybe it was like one or two days here that I tried something new but I don't understand why that would make me completely break out like break out then I'd have to put treatment on it and then it would come to a head and then another one the next day in the same spot and then you have to put concealer on it so I put concealer on it but that would like congest my pores even more and I'm like I have major like dry flaky skin now it's all like healing up it was really really bad and I was like maybe the rest of my pregnancy is going to be like this like I don't know but so what I've been using is the Makeup Forever HD High Def Foundation. Looks like that. And I'm in number 173. 
this is perfect it's like medium but buildable coverage and what I've done is I've been mixing these two together and it's been really helping my skin because I don't have a choice right now I've got like so much peeling going on and so much discoloration and hyperpigmentation it's it's the worst I've ever seen it on my skin up here it was just really bad it, it was almost like a heat rash up here and then on top of that we went to um, Orange County and I wanted to try the Jordana lip liners so I found them um, we went to the swap meet the Orange County swap meet I found them for like a dollar so I bought natural and I bought another one I forgot got it home I sharpened it I sterilized it before I used it and I did like what the lip, liner, lip liners did but the next day I had like a rash around my lips and it didn't hurt but it was like little red bumps so I had to stop using those two. Like I'm just sensitive, sensitive Susie. That's my name, sensitive Susie. So I'm just going back to the drawing board and going back to what I know and sticking with the basics. But this has really helped. So loving this foundation. Um, for setting my foundation and then my powder, I'm really enjoying Fix Plus again. I might go get the big bottle of this because I go through it. But this stuff is great. Like it sets your makeup. It adds kind of like a dewy finish. You don't feel powdery, you don't feel completely made up, and it kind of, if you spray this on your face and then kind of take a big fluffy brush and just kind of run it over your skin, you feel like everything becomes a cohesive face, if that makes any sense. It just looks really good. <laughs> so I dig it. I really like this stuff, and it smells good too. Um, let's see. Oh, these ones. Okay. Tender tones are my jam. If you, like the tender tones, I know they sold out. If you can get your hands on a tender tone, just get one. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter which one you get. Go get one. Try it. These are the best lip balms. And in terms of best, I mean staying power, moisture level, um, smell, texture, everything. These are amazing. I got these two in purring and hush hush. So this is Hush Hush. Mm. Smells like watermelons. Oh, it smells so good. This one is just kind of like a pearly... Uh, imagine Rubenesque paint pot in a lip balm. Less orange, though. Looks like that. And then I got Purring, which is a tangerine color. They're really, really sheer, so they wouldn't come off like this. Like, I'll show you. See what I'm saying? It's... They're amazing. A slight glossy finish to them if you just want a slight gloss. I am eating these. And the thing is, is they stay. You can wear it. I love lip balm. So I know I've tried a lot of lip balm. And the only one that's really up there is the Malin and Goats Lip Moisturizer that I talk about all the time. And that's like 13 bucks a two. These were $16, $15. I will put this on. I will go to the mall. You will have a hot dog on a stick. You will have a cherry lemonade. You will be walking through the mall and go, did I put something on my lips? No, it's still this. It's amazing. Like, it dawns on me that I'm still, this is still on my lips. If it wasn't so pretty, I'd probably wear it at night as a treatment. But these are insanity how good they are. I totally get the hype now. And, you know, I'm a hype beast and I'm usually really disappointed. These are really, really good. So good. Ooh, the lighting's changing. The sun's going down. Pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Um, okay, so really, really good. Tender tones are the jam, so try and get one. I'm not even kidding. They're really good. Um, this sugar lip treatment with SPF 15 is pretty good. It's by Fresh. It was in my little birthday, happy birthday kit from Sephora. I get why this is popular. It's better than a lot of lip balms on a stick. Looks like this. Little tiny baby one. I don't know that it would last me as much as a tender tone because now everything's getting compared to a tender tone but it smells really good it feels good on the lips and I mean it's better than a chapstick is what I'll say it's a glorified chapstick but smells good pretty good um, concealer I went back to this because I feel that it's the most effective right now it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm in NC42 and this stuff just stays like I put it on and it's not thick. It doesn't move when it's on. It is on. And I'm trying to think about what am I going to wear when the baby comes? What can I wear and not worry about the rest of the day? And so far, this is exactly, this is definitely one of those things. You put it on, put it where you need it, and it will stay all day long. So went back to that. 
nail polish I'm really loving what am I wearing on my hand I'm not wearing I'm not wearing this but I do have what is this I forgot what it's called but it's by OPI and then uh, glitter nail but this is on my toes OPI nail lacquer in black cherry chutney so pretty it's so pretty it's almost it's gothy it's dark it's black ish but it's not black it's just a dark dark cherry it's really really nice on the toes so I might do this on my fingers next week um, as far as lotions go this is gonna be a long video um, Charmed Life by Bath & Body Works I got this at a baby shower and I'm not really into Bath & Body Works I feel like if you've had one lotion you've had them all but this stuff it's still on my hands body lotion with vitamin E jojoba and shea butter looks like that it smells really nice it's not I thought it'd be really sweet no, it smells really good. It's got like a nice perfumey scent, but it's kind of cotton candy-ish, a little childish, but I like that. And it's not making me nauseous. So it's called Charmed Life. I have the hand sanitizer, the body wash, and this. And then the one of the other things, the Head to Toe Hydrator by Sephora. And I picked this up. Oh, sorry guys, I'm really winded. Um, face, body, hands, and hair moisturizer. Basically how this can work, it's multi-dimensional I guess um, it's got nourishing plant extract for soft supple skin you can put this as a cream or a mask on your face and then wipe it off or rinse it off um, you can put it on your ends for like five minutes after you shampoo and then rinse it out but it smells really nice and I just put this on my hands and on my elbows before I go to bed but the smells not offensive it's really clean smelling and I'm, I'm happy to know that if I need to, I can put this anywhere. I don't know how I feel about putting it on my face. I haven't tried it. But like my neck, my ends, I did try it. Um, it was fine. So yeah, got that. And then the last thing. So I said how my skin was breaking out, right? So bad. Like, I, you can probably see it right now. Like, it's dark right here. This whole chin area broke, broke out. So what I usually have on standby, which I forgot I had, were the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads, Clinical Skin Care. They look like this. And it's basically, see, especially with pregnancy, you can't use anything that's too strong. Basically spa strong, so you can't really go to a spa and get like a microdermabrasion. But these are fine, I think. Check with your doctor. Um, a fresh peach Bellini scent. Um, they have glycolic acid, salicylic acid and I don't know but it's for problem skin types they're they're, they're almost like oxy pads they smell good though they are strong if you wipe your face with this your face will sting but for me it was a good sting because I was so fed up with my skin I put all over my face I let it do its magic and then I rinse it off and I put my lotion on the next day my skin was smoother supple and I felt like I like the drying of my skin because I feel like it's drying up the the breakout so it instantly started drying up and it felt really good for me at least and then I did it again the next night and I did it again the next night and I'm gonna do this every day for a week and hope that I can clear up the hyperpigmentation and keep away any more breakouts but these are amazing like it, it did work I haven't had another flare-up since I started using these three days ago um, but I know I added this later in the favorites but I forgot how effective these were they super super work so glad I had those on standby and I think we're at the end of my favorites yay so anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video my baby shower is on Saturday and I'm so excited um yeah I can't wait to see everybody and yeah that's it any questions comments leave them down below follow me on Twitter I'm the Vonda 83 and welcome to all my new Twitter followers um, I hope I'm enter entertaining enough. If you want to watch someone really, or read about someone really entertaining, or follow Chrissy Teigen, who's going to marry John Legend. She's the funniest, funniest Twitter person ever. Like, I'll put her link down below, too. She's super funny. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye!